Good afternoon. What's up, everybody? Hope you all are having a good... What's today? Tuesday. Um, today, we're going to be going over some mobility of the foot as well as the ankle. And I know Dr. B went over this um, in the past week, but for this specific session, we're going to be building upon some of the foundations that he meant and he built for us. And we're going to be working on this specifically for runners, mobility. Um, and even if you aren't a runner, everyone has an ankle, so it's going to be great to get some of these muscles activated and some more mobility so that you can sense more of this joint as you build and grow throughout this uh, session. So specifically for this one, even if you don't run, this is going to be a good one for you. If you do run, that's perfect. That's a skill that we're going to work to achieve. And um, it's going to be very helpful to help out with this ankle in terms of that sense, okay? So real quick about the foot. There's a whole bunch of different little muscles that happen and are in this actual foot that a lot of us really forget to work out. So there's about, I'd say about 30 plus muscles of intrinsic muscles within the little joints. So in between your foot bones, there's all these muscles that are controlling that. And the job for today is to activate and just sense that movement within the muscles itself, within this foot, so that you have more capacity to do more activities and so that you wake up these muscles. Most of the time we neglect to work through with these muscles because uh, we're usually working on bigger muscles or we're working on like our calves or our legs or hips or anything of that sort. So today's purpose and the intention is to try to activate more of these muscles Feel more of your ankle, and we'll build it from there, okay? So the first thing we're going to get into is just mobility of your ankle. And to do that, you're going to be sitting nice and tall here. What you're going to do is you're going to hug your knee to your chest. And as you're rotating, you're going to be rotating this foot in big circles. My hands are placed on my knee just to make sure that my knee is not moving during this time, so I'm not trying to rotate, but it's staying nice and still there. And we're going to go three times towards the left side, trying to make as big of a circle as you can. Try to activate those muscles. And you should feel like your calf is working right here. As you come out, and you might feel a little bit of this backside as you come down. So three times going to the left. Once you get to that third time, go ahead and move over to the inside as we're making clockwise circles. As you can see, my foot is kind of extending up here, which is a little bit of compensation. So try to keep those toes nice and neutral, making these big circles as best as you can without moving that knee joint. All right. So this is just to prime up that ankle joint before we get into the other specific things. Go ahead and do that for the other leg as well. Three big circles out to the right side. And the reason why we're doing this is because I've actually had an injury on this left foot right here in the past Friday. So this is a little selfish to me because I get to do a little instruction but also get to do a little rehab for myself. Go ahead and move over to the left side. Big circles. Try not to move that knee and keeping it all an ankle centric. So if there's any pain, don't get into that area, just make that circle a little smaller. So we're working on those ankle cars, okay? Um, after this, we're actually gonna get into a half kneel position. Um, and I wanna talk about the tripod, which is very important of this foot, okay? So if you look at my hand here, it's a little easier to see. The tripod consists of three parts of the foot that you want to keep on the ground at all times when you're doing these foot exercises, okay? So the three parts are right um, over that first big toe um, and a little bit farther back to you. So this kind of like that knuckle area of that big toe, you're going to keep that onto the floor. So that's your first mat. You're going to move over to that fifth pinky toe. You're going to keep that on the floor. That's your fifth mat. And you're going to keep your heel on the floor as you do all of these exercises. Right, so those three create the tripod. So you got the first mat right here, the 
the fifth net right here and that heel on the bottom. So you make that little triangle. Keep that in contact with the floor. As you're doing this, we're just gonna keep three parts on the floor and we're gonna bring our toes up, curl them up or extend them up and back down as high as you can, okay? Up, back down, up, back down. We're going up to 10, up, back down, four, back down. Try to feel those muscles contracting right here as you curl up, back down, five, back down, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Go ahead and switch to the other leg. Same concept. I just want to have my sock on. Up and back down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep doing those. Six. Sometimes you might see compensations that if you can't keep your toe down, you're going to come inwards like this or it's gonna come outwards like that. But do your best to keep those three points that we mentioned onto the floor. Keep that glue to that floor to get that pure, as best as we can, that pure motion to get that muscle activation there. Good. Now let's go back to that left side. Now we're gonna work on this one and four disassociation. So you can keep your toe, keep your little four toes on the ground, but you're gonna bring this big toe extended up as best as you can. And then as you bring this one down, you're gonna lift up the others, other four. So if you're looking at my hand, big toe goes up for one, and then you're gonna switch. So those four little toes go up. So go ahead, one, and switch. Push down as hard as you can with the big toe. And switch, push down hard with that big toe, feel that muscle on the side working. Up and switch, so they get a side view. Up, switch, up, switch, up, and switch, up, switch. switch two more up and switch up and switch now if this is a hard movement for you what you can do is you could assist your big toe with your fingers as you pull it up and then you can switch down keep that down as you bring these four up with your and so you could assist with your fingers. So the reason why this is important for specifically for runners is because you need that great toe extension. So the ability to come up, come up and extend as you're rolling onto that ground and pushing off. So that push off motion from right here when you're coming up there, that push off motion is very important to generate that power to get that speed. And if it's not moving well, if it doesn't have the capacity to move um, fluidly through that great toe extension when it's coming up like this that's when you're gonna have some pain right among the many things but those are big things that we see within our clients so again now with an assistance so you're gonna come up and switch keep that toe down bring these up up big toe switch little toes up and switch up and switch push down as hard as you can up and switch up and switch up and switch last one up and switch good go ahead relax there the more that you push down into that ground you might feel like this inner arch area start to work as if it's getting a little fatigued that's just your flexor hallucis longus activating in that sense so that muscle that's underneath 
you're starting to recruit that muscle a little bit. Okay. We'll move to now trying to spread out your toes as best as you can, pushing out to get the abductor muscles, right? So you're essentially doing this and back in with your toe. So coming out, back in. Coming out, back in. This is a hard one. Out, especially for the big toe. And in, out, and in. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Good. Go ahead and relax there. Um, you might notice that the big toe might have some difficulty abducting or coming out of there. That's just because we don't use that muscle a lot, especially when we're in closed in shoes. So a little cue, like tactile cue that you could use is just place your finger right next to your big toe. And from there, try to touch that finger as you spread your, your um, toes out, okay? So coming out, touch that finger and back in. It's a little cue to keep that foot and that big toe moving towards that outside area. And in, out. And man, I feel it. I feel it on my abductors right here. So the pinky side as well. Um, now we're going to be doing some pianos. So this is where you, when you're going to roll the toes in and out. In and out. Okay. So first off, you're going to come up with toes. Bring down your pinky toe down to that thumb or down to the Big toe and up, rolling down. So I'm up and I'm rolling down like this. Up and rolling down. Up and rolling down. Up, rolling down. Go ahead, relax there. Now we're gonna go the other way. Up and rolling down this way. Harder for me. That's really hard for me. <laughs> Coming down there. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. And down. Good. Go ahead, relax there. Get a little break with the foot. Now we'll go into a, lit, a little bit more of like a contraction at an end range of that big toe. So for this one, it's gonna be similar to that one four that you're doing, so that big toe coming up and that four switching. But this time, as you come up, into that range right here, your max range of that big toe. Hook underneath that big toe with your two fingers. And for five seconds, we're gonna be pushing in that range into your fingers. So try to handle this and like, try to push in as hard as you can for three, two, one, and relax. Bring it back up. Get into that full range right there. End range right here. Pushing down for three, two, one, relax. Coming back up. Pushing down for three, two, one, relax. Two more. Coming up for that three, two, one, relax. Last one, pushing up for that three, two, one, relax, good. So that's just trying to make more range within that great toe, the big toe. So again, work for that push off. Now we'll get into a more complex movement. You're gonna be getting into this lunge position right here. So with your back foot, you're gonna lean forward until you get into that end range. And if this is a little difficult to just maintain balance, you can for sure have a chair right here. So get into that end range right here. So my big toe is at that end range. Find that range for you, whatever feels comfortable. Um, no, there shouldn't be any pain for these motions. So once you get here, push down for three, two, one, relax. And I'm pushing down with my big toe. 
three, two, one, relax, keep it there. And again, three, two, one, relax. Again, three, two, one, relax. Last one, three, two, one, relax. Take a little break there. So if you're doing those correctly, it should feel like that big toe is really working, especially on that bottom side of your, your foot, your big toe. The last exercise that I have going on for you is this. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. So coming out here, you're going to get a little bit of a rotation into that big toe. So try to keep your chest centered down into that knee, centered down into that big toe. Um, and from here, we're going to be pushing up, push through that big toe, back down. Coming up, back down. Coming up, push through that big toe, back down. Coming up, back down, give me side, the side view. Coming up, back down. Keep that chest over, up, back down. Up, and back down, good. If this is difficult, for you, you could always make it easier by putting a little weight on a stable surface, such as the chair. Lean in, and then you could work on this stagger step, okay? That's a way that you could regress the exercise. Um, if this is too easy for you, you could get into one foot, pushing through that big toe. You can see me shaking already. And back then, it could use the chair just for bounce, but I'm putting more of my weight on that big toe, one leg, coming up, back down. So this is the injured leg, let's see, my non-injured leg. So still difficult to keep that weight there. Back down, right? Back down. So essentially we're trying to make that connection between your body. We're trying to breathe as usual um, as we're doing all these exercises. And we're trying to make that move well so that we know and we can sense that big toe when we're doing a run. Whether you're doing a sprint or whether you're doing a long run or whether you're just trying to do a walk run, um, this is important to keep in mind. Um, if your feet are stronger, it doesn't matter. There's a lot to say to shoes, but um, there's a lot that you can do without worrying about what shoe you're wearing. So you have to work within the body, and then from there we'll work out. Okay? So, again, this is part one of our run runner's mobility exercises. So if you have any questions about anything, or if you have any suggestions of what you want for future sessions regarding the runner mobility series, feel free to reach out. Um, and other than that, we will conclude here. So, again... Work on this for all you uh, people who are watching the recorded videos. Feel free to reach out again in the comments. We'll check that out for you, okay? Um, take care, everybody, and have a great Tuesday. Peace.